Sony has finally released the Android 6 update for their Xperia Z3 Compact which comes in almost a month later than the update on the uh, bigger regular Z3. But anyway, in this video I'll show you how to update your Z3 Compact using a desktop computer. And by the way guys, I do recommend using a computer. It's easier and it's much more stable than doing the OTA upgrade. But anyway, you can see here it's a 1 gigabyte download. Here is the size and this is indeed Android 6 Marshmallow update. So once the update is available you'll automatically get a Xperia system update message on your phone. Uh, if you don't get it just go to settings, scroll down to about phone and tap on software update. Tap on this little icon over here and tap on refresh. If it's still not available you would need to wait. So. Mine already shows that Xperia system update is available and let me show you the model number. The model number is D5833 which is the Z3 Compact and we are running Android Lollipop. So an upgrade from Lollipop to Marshmallow and by the way phone runs fine. Let me show you the phone. Uh, by the way, this is probably one of the best phones I've owned. It's compact, it's got the full power of a regular Sony Xperia smartphone, Snapdragon 801, 2 gigs of RAM, 720p display. Now before everyone jumps in and update their phone, let me just point out a few things. Uh, number one is that this camera widget has now been removed and you need to place these icons manually. Uh, these are just shortcuts. What you can do is go to widgets, go to shortcuts, tap on camera and this is how you can place these icons back again but yeah so this provides more or less the same functionality of this widget but yeah I really like this widget not sure why Sony had to go in and remove this because yeah this was much better much more functional than these individual icons and number two is that Sony has removed the stamina mode. So if you go to battery, so there's just battery usage, that's all. And you have the regular Android battery saver, unlike the Android uh, Lollipop operating system where you used to get power management and this stamina mode with different options like Q background data, low battery mode, ultra stamina mode, and this stamina mode where you can extend your battery life uh, exceptionally but really that's nothing to worry about because the battery life of Android Marshmallow is pretty good so I've clocked around 2 hours 38 minutes of screen on time and I'm still around 69 percent so I managed to use this phone around two days so not an issue still getting a two day battery backup which is good and this one gives around three days for me so I'll let you know the uh, battery backup once I've updated this phone. One of the features of Android 6 Marshmallow is that you can use the memory card as internal storage but unfortunately the Sony customized version does not come with that feature but anyway that's not really a deal breaker because if you do, if you do that you lose this internal 16 gigabytes of space so yeah, I want to keep that 16 gigabyte space and additionally you can use a 128 gigabyte SD card so that's really not an issue but anyway many people ask me whether or not this feature is available so to clear that doubt this feature is not available in the Sony customized version of Android Marshmallow. So there are two ways you can update your Z3 Compact one is through the over the air upgrade directly on the phone and another one is you can use a computer to update your phone so to perform an OTA upgrade go to settings go to about phone tap on software update tap on this refresh and then you can see it'll show Xperia system update open that and make sure that it's showing Android 6 Marshmallow so it's a one gigabyte update but I don't really recommend using the OTA method because it's caused problems before uh, do this only when you don't have an access to a computer otherwise just use a computer to do the update anyway on a computer head over to this website you'll need to download a software called Xperia companion for Windows 
I'll put this link down in the description so you guys can easily download it. So download Xperia Companion and install it. It should look somewhat like this after you install and run it. Now all you gotta do is connect your Sony Xperia Mobile and the computer will automatically recognize it. So here is my micro USB. Let me just connect this. Anyway, so once I connect the phone, it automatically shows that the new software update is available. Uh, Android 6 Marshmallow. So directly I'm gonna tap on update. And it shows that it will be automatically downloaded. Once the download is complete, you can proceed to update your Xperia. You can continue to use Xperia as usual, but please do not close Xperia Companion during download. Uh, anyway, just tap on OK and you can see the download has automatically begun in the background. So I'm going to let that complete and I'll be right back. Alright, so once the download has finished, it will automatically take you to this page. It says Software Update and Xperia Software Update. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep my personal content so we, we will not be selecting a factory reset. So let's click on Next. It says it's preparing device and the phone is turning off. Still shows preparing device. Alright, so important do not disconnect your Xperia at this point. Your Sony Xperia Z3 Compact is now ready to be updated. Uh, once you press next, alright, so let's press next. So now it's installing the update on the phone. And I recommend that you do not touch the phone or even move it because uh, if the USB is loose, you can end up uh, spoiling the update. And yeah, it'll spoil your day. You need to yeah, then you'll need to go to Sony's service center. So. So it shows that the software update has completed successfully. Disconnect your device and turn it on. So what I'm going to do here is disconnect the USB and turn the phone on since it's difficult for me to do that with one hand. So right now we can just close this. Alright, so the update is complete. It shows that the SD, a new SD card has been detected. That's alright. Update Google Play Services. I'll do that later from Play Store. But anyway, here is the latest Android. Apparently that needs to be updated at the moment. Seems to be working alright. Let's head over to the settings. About. Oh, yeah, here you can see Android 6.0.1 Alright, so I'll make a separate video where I demonstrate how Android 6 performs on this phone, but Anyway, from what I can tell, it'll perform exactly the same like it did on the Sony Xperia Z3. After all, these, both of these phones have the same, exact same CPU. Uh, the only difference between these two phones is the uh, 
RAM. This one's come this one comes with two gigs of RAM, this one comes with three gigs of RAM, and this one's got a 720p display, this one's got a 1080p. So not much difference, but anyway, everything is working fine. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this helps you out. And stay tuned for a quick review later on.